right, folks, got that break higher. So now this is a candidate for a potential bullish order block. Planning on selling five contracts at the volume and balance in here. Let me remove that. I'll do it manually instead. All right, so we have a small volume and balance in here. Minute price gets there. I'll close five and hold the, uh, the rest for this Sibi in here. See how the markets are turning back into this order block. I was hoping it would touch it. I would actually buy a few more. I uh, missed it. To some of you, depending on um, how familiar you are with price action, buying in here, seeing price, playing around with it, it might have been scary, but typically when you're on the right side of the markets, you'll actually find trades like that quite often. When they do things like that, typically you wouldn't expect a break higher, especially if they're leaving candles with highs that are so equal, so close. It's one of those things. It's almost like a done deal. Of course, you're never 100%. But once you do it enough, that's why I was able to actually buy three more in here, even though I was in drawdown. So, And if it gives me another entry, I'll actually buy. Let's see. Let's do two more. There it is. Ah. I wanted to get a better price. Remember, target is this volume imbalance in here. All right, here it is. That's good. I could actually potentially move my stop up here because if it, it does break this, then I'm probably dead wrong. But I don't want to jam it too early. I don't want to set a bad example for you all. So targeting this volume imbalance. So we'll come back in a few minutes and see how this plays out. Mm -mm. I don't want to see that. So this candle, I don't want to see it be a down close candle. This is not good. So the last thing you want to see when you're long. Give it a few minutes. But this ideally isn't what you want. It completely <laughs> disregarded this um, bullish order block. I'll still give it some time to see if it respects the swing low down here. If not, then I'm just wrong. But one thing to keep an eye out for is these two down close candles. If we get a big expansion higher, taking out the swing high, that would be actually significant. So that's one thing I'm looking at. If it takes the swing low, then I'll close the trade. I won't even let it come to my stop. But if it breaks the swing high here, I think even for the PM session, we would be bullish. So I'd actually think, I think I would actually hold on to the trade. So if it breaks the swing high, we hold on to the trade. I would take partials, but we would actually hold on to the trade till close. All right, folks, a few minutes later. So things are shaping up a bit better respecting this swing high here i still want to see this taken only then will i really feel confident 
and be at ease with the trade. But seeing this so far, so far so good. Giving it a few more minutes to see how it wants to play out, but I definitely want to see this taken. So here's my drawn liquidity right now. So within the next five to 10 minutes, it'll be very crucial to see how this plays out. Swing low here. Very tempting to jam my stop loss down there, but I'll refrain. Because even down here, had I put my stop loss, we would have been out the trade. So I'll keep it to the orig original. Above this, then I'll move the stop. But until then, I'll keep it. Let's see. Tricky market conditions right now. Very sloppy. Though it takes a bit more energy to manage a trade like that. These aren't the trades you typically want to get into, but <laughs> I don't care. I'm pushing my luck today, so this is exciting trying to navigate a trade like that and wanting to close it, you know, in profit. So things like that are always a challenge for me. So watch me work. All right, here it is, folks. This is what we've been looking for. Boom, let's see. I wanna take out a few more. Now leave two. Now I get to jam my stop loss. This is a good part. Reducing the stop. There's something soothing about that. All right, so we had the volume imbalance or buy side taken. Now price, it's very tricky what it wants to do right now. I have absolutely no idea. I'll leave this if it wants to trade into the consequent encouragement of this SIBI. If not, if it takes the stop, then that's fine. But I don't think it will. I move it to break even. All right, so this is part of um, trading. A screenshot, I could easily take a screenshot of entries like this, that, these, and tell you, you no know, great trades, whatever, whatever, but actually seeing it live and walking through it, this is essentially me thinking out loud. That's actually how I conceptualize <laughs> my decision-making in the markets. Not moving my stop loss here, saying it's better to keep it here. All these things. When you watch my videos and my trade executions, the best thing I think you can possibly do is try to put yourself in my shoes to see what you would have done in that situation. You know, it's like um, gaining pseudo experience, even though you're not actually taking the trades, you're not managing it, but tricking your brain into thinking that you're the one making those decisions. It's a... Uh, very good experience when it comes to growing as a trader and i've actually i'm planning on making it a habit for me to go back and watch my videos my trade execution videos and seeing if i can learn a thing or two from them because i haven't watched them yet. i've listened to some of my other videos about staying focused a subconscious mind and things of that nature but i haven't taken the time to look at my trade management videos that I've done so far and right now it's about 10 of them so this weekend I'll be going back looking over all of them they're not long they're like seven eight minutes some 12 13 but they're all manageable and I can watch all of them within the same weekend so this is all in the spirit of learning and growing as a trader so right now we have this imbalance in here. Will it be some sort of a breakaway gap? I'd like it to be, but I have absolutely no clue. Um, let me do this. Yeah. Whatever happens, happens. So let's see. If we get an explosive price move that takes out this high and leaves the fair value gap, then this will be classified as a breakaway gap. 
But if not, then this is tricky stuff. All right, so I'm out. That's good. So navigating tricky waters in here. And I do my daily log entries where I take screenshots of the AM session, the PM session from all the markets I actually do trade. I'm planning on making them public um, early February um, for everyone to actually be able to keep up and look at the daily log entries because it's actually pretty difficult every day because it takes me about two hours to put all of them together and i thought well if this is that difficult for me imagine how it is for other people so i'll make that public to you guys um in february but with all that being said it's fun managing these trades and being able to have them recorded because this was a difficult one if you're not I'm not saying I'm the best trader out there. I, I want to be, and that's why I'm doing all this. But if you're not decent or good enough, th this is where you get your backside handed to you. There was a lot of opportunities in there for me to mess up and actually take a loss. But experience is what this, this is all about. So hopefully you learn from minds and watch these videos within the right uh, set, I suppose. How do you say it? the right frame of mind, the right mindset. That way you can actually learn a thing or two. So again, good weekend, good trading, and keep on going. Don't give up. This is all possible. This is all completely possible. If I can do it, you can too, my friend. So we'll see next week. I'll try to record a couple more uh, trade executions next week. So good weekend.